I can't explain this, but I've always had a fascination with cold places. When I first moved here, I felt like I was at the edge of the world. I mean, there was that feeling of like, you, you just can't go any further away. And, and Scammon Bay is beautiful. Uh, I mean, the, the geography here is stunning to me. The village itself is beautiful in that the buildings, their homes are painted all these different colors. You'll see fish hanging outside people's homes. You know, you'll see moose, antlers, and everybody's on uh, four-wheelers. And uh, there's not, like, there's two trucks, and one of them is running. It doesn't look like what I'm accustomed to, but now it feels like home to me. I, I feel like, though, the remoteness is a hurdle I invited John and Diane because I knew Diane uh, from uh, my first Teacher at Sea, and, and I saw Teacher at Sea as, as an opportunity to connect me with real scientists and also connect my students with real scientists. I've taught in Arkansas and Alaska, so those two states, a similarity might be that the kids are rural, and so they don't have a lot of uh, personal interactions with highly degree people in the science world. And so I just, I just, that's just my aim, to connect them, because I just think if you know somebody personally, just like my students here, you know, they now know an engineer and a scientist, a climatologist, not just have seen a picture of them, they know them now. That just goes deep. It's a deep impact on a young person. Uh, being a teacher at sea, being in the teacher at sea program, getting to work with scientists, it gives me more credibility whenever I go back into the classroom because my students know that I was on a ship working with real scientists, doing real research. And, and, and it's my hope that I can connect them so it won't just be me that had the connection and they just had to hear about it. I want to connect them with the scientists and the work. So, that's my goal, uh, and NOAA and the Teacher at Sea program has been the best program to help me reach that goal. I like to inspire, I want to inspire my students to, to dream big and, and want, to, want to do some of the harder things. I think that uh, when I close my eyes at night, I have a good feeling about um, helping my students cross that bridge between the Yupik world and the Western world and still value and love their Yupik culture and their roots, but still be able to step into Anchorage or Fairbanks or, you know, San Diego and not be in culture shock. Be able to function and not just function, but to succeed.